Hi kids, Mr. Hammock here at Down House, just outside of London, England, and this is the place where Charles Darwin spent most of his adult life. And the only reason I'm showing you this is you might think that Charles Darwin is some geek scientist who, you know, worked at Cambridge or Oxford or something and did all of his research, but he didn't. He was actually this uh, almost really sort of an English aristocrat. He married into money, his parents had money, um, and he, this is the house he lived at. Um, and look at all the land he had here. And every day he would do his research right here in his house. And in fact, the very path I'm s standing on is the path that he would walk every day. He'd take a walk in the morning and a walk in the afternoon. And it's probably on this path where most of his really, really great ideas uh, came from, you know, in his mind as he was walking this path. So we are now walking the path that Charles Darwin walked for probably 40 years of his life and made many, many great discoveries. This is Mr. Hammock signing out from Down House, just outside of London, England. Hi kids, we're now taking a little bit closer view of Down House. And not only did Charles Darwin develop his theory of natural selection in this home, but he also had 10 kids that he raised in this home. Two of them unfortunately died, but if reproductive success is any evidence of evolutionary fitness, then Charles Darwin was really the alpha male of his day.